Actually, looking at the timestamps, it might just be in the same part. So, my bad there. I shouldn't say timestamps, I should say the amount of time for those clips that I was making. This is where the game actually starts getting hard here, is the Sea Queen here. Yeah! She's quirk and she's very wily. Uh, by stealing away the chances of victory for the opponent, uh, she basically likes to use the drain uh, to remove the items on my side, but as long as you put together the puzzle faster than her, you won't have to worry about using items anyway. But she does use other items in that. She's a pretty balanced player, so to speak, uh, which is why this is where the game starts to get harder. So yeah, I'm putting together a puzzle, and uh, I forgot the name of this building, and I feel so bad for it. I, uh, I just can't think of the name of the building. I've seen it before. I actually put together a 3D foam puzzle of this building, and I, for some reason I just can't think of the name of this building. No. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh... I'll put it in a, um, uh, put it either in the description or the, um, uh, annotation or something, if I remember what the name of the building is called, or if someone tells me, whatever. Uh, yeah, I, the fun of it is trying to remember it myself and not to look up the name, so I'm not gonna be looking up the name of it, uh, unless I think of it in this video. Uh, oh no, he just, she just, see, I told you about the drain thing, that uh, she drains out your items, but that's okay, because I am way, way ahead of her. Uh, that last battle with Tinker Belganoff there, that was a lot, a lot better match than this one's gonna be. Or at least I think it is going to be. I don't know, maybe she'll be very good with her items or something. Dunk! And hopefully she won't be too good with her items. Well, then again, that might make an epic match like the last one. But uh, it's very unlikely that I'll actually lose anyway, because of how many times I've played through this game as a kid. I just got the hang of this game very, very much. Um, Uh-oh, not auto. Uh-oh. Auto. Auto panic. Autobahn. Uh, this is the Leaning Tower of Pisa. And I forgot to name off what the first building was. Uh, two, I actually forgot what puzzle I did, because the, the theme of these um, puzzles right here are buildings or structures or, you know, like land... Uh, landmarks, so to speak. Serious? Are you sure? I'm the Sea Queen. You're not supposed to be me. I can't believe it. <laughs> I have a fan. Now that the Sea Queen sleeps with the fishes, G. Paul Doppler will be the next opponent. Yes, we are now going against robots. This game is getting weirder and weirder, but I do love this game, as you know, I do like weird and unique games. As you've seen, I've played a couple of them along on my uh, journey through walkthroughing, so to speak. So yeah, this game is right up my alley, and even if I am facing off against a robot in a jigsaw puzzle solving racing game, I still like it, despite its weirdness, but I've said it's weird like a whole load of times, but I do indeed would like to uh, um, see a sequel for this game, but I don't think it's ever happened. I, did, did it ever happen? Does anyone ever play this game and knew if a sequel happened for this game? Or I shouldn't even call it a series, I was gonna say series, but it's not even a series if a sequel never happened, uh, because if I don't know, some reason, uh, probably one of those lesser bought titles, kind of like um, Zack and Wiki or Mischief Makers, that they're just overlooked by the bigger games around, uh, but a puzzle game of such a concept like this just deserves some more attention, so that's what I'm doing in these videos, or at least I'm hoping to do in these videos, I don't know if it'll really interest people, I'm hoping that it will. I think it's a pretty interesting game con concept to solve uh, puzzles faster than your opponent. Uh, it's, it's not like a typical color matching or, um, yeah, color matching, I should say, uh, puzzle solving game or puzzle game because of, uh, maybe that's, maybe that's why it didn't get a lot of attention because it's, it's not like the typical puzzle game norm, so to speak. Uh, so it, it got overshadowed by games such as maybe Poyo Pop, Tetris, well that's not really a uh, color matching game. 
Uh, bust a move, which doesn't really get that much attention in itself, which is too bad. I love the Bust a Move series. And I'm starting to talk about other game series. So, uh, woot to me, I guess? Or woot to the game? I don't know, I'm just talking randomly. I just kind of do that, you know me. It's just, yeah, if you've seen my videos, I just chatter on over and over again. <laughs> um. So, I'm on the last puzzle, as you can see, I'm going to finish long before the, my opponent gets to the best items. So, this should be quite an easy victory for me, and that's it. I'm finished one puzzle exactly ahead of uh, g Paul Docular, or whatever you want to call him. I've lost to a human, there must be some mistake. I must check my circuits. human. Okay, that sucked. Okay, hold on a sec. All right, final battle right here, baby. Yes, that's right, it's already the final battle. Yeah, it's a short game, but it's I think it's worth showing off. This is the mystery man. He appears to be some sort of weird alien dude, but his mysterious power actually allows him to move faster than me. Oh, oh this is gonna be an awesome match, or at least I think it will be. At least I'm hoping it will be, but I still don't think I'm going to lose the match because he still fumbles around with his pieces while I put place them s very smoothly and in, uh, and then go directly up to the top. I don't take any pauses along the way. Uh, it, it, the, all that speed thing is just an intimidation tactic because in reality I can move just as fast as him by moving slow or smoothly so to speak and he's using auto so say hello to my sweeper friend that auto is not gonna help him whatsoever now it might uh, um, the auto may slow down the sweepers reign of destruction, but it won't stop it entirely And I'm just gonna play. Oh, no, that was dumb And that that perf that first puzzle was just about perfectly played except for that last piece there. Maybe I choked I don't know um, So now we're on the next puzzle. It is a jet fighter. Or it appears to be looking like a jet fighter I believe it is I don't know why I'm talking like this, I'm just acting weird because I'm playing a weird game, but then again, when don't I act weird in my videos? But hey, that's the fun of it anyway, right? So, yeah, I'm finishing this puzzle up fairly quickly without any difficulties whatsoever. I can pretty much visualize where the pieces go because of the shape of the aircraft, so this sh shouldn't cause me any trouble, and he's gonna try and catch up with Otto. But uh, in the next puzzle, I'm going to get my little puzzle friend uh, to help me and really gain some ground on him. Uh, like, when it hits two seconds, I'm going to click on the help here, too, and he'll, he's going to start up to help me out. And that'll give me the maximum amount of time I can possibly use for this little puzzle piece critter. So, yeah, this is pretty much the end of the battle for him. I've got to say, I think... The battle with Tinker Belganoff was the most epic battle that I've had uh, with all the characters in the game because of how close that came to the very end. And oh, sweeper, sweeper! <laughs> oh no, maybe it is gonna come close, but I started sweeping him, so maybe it'll be okay. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to see. Uh, the sweeper, while it does slow you down, it doesn't really slow you down too much for the fact of. Um, well, it does slow you down a lot, but I mean, uh, the way that it does every other piece, it's easy to replace those pieces pretty quickly, and that's the battle. Sorry, mystery man. You have been owned. My human powers has defeated your super, uh, <coughs> supernatural alien powers. I was gonna say superhuman because I just read that text there.